Hey, what's up? Be Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be informing you guys about the new update to GBA for iOS 2.0, which is 2.0.2, and going over the new features that were added in this update. So, to get the update, open your GBA for iOS 2.0 application, then go into the settings by clicking the gear at the top left, scroll down and look for the software update tab and then go ahead and click on that and when you click on it you should have your software update and you may have GBA for iOS 2.0.1 because that update came out before this one this is the second update to GBA for iOS 2.0 since its public release but you will only have software updates there if you are connected to the internet so let's get into the features of this new update the first one is controller skins now fully support any size and aspect ratio so basically, controller skins can be made to be full screen like the feature in the original GBA for iOS 1.6, which was fill screen, which a lot of you guys were asking for and Riley did put that in the application as you all requested. Now the second thing is cheat code and save state warnings to explain possible side effects. This is very important because a lot of you guys use save states and cheat codes without fully understanding the consequences of them, though there aren't many. Third one is fixes a bug where saving during an event wouldn't work com correctly. So this is for event distribution. There's some times where you can't save properly within the event distribution. So now that is fixed as well as cool ROM downloads now work correctly again. For some reason there was a bug and some things wouldn't work, but that is fixed now. And airplane no longer uses a linear filter when in portrait. So those are all the features and now let's go ahead and get this update. Alright so to actually download the update click download update then click on update and it will automatically send you to your home screen once you click on install and when that occurs what you're going to do is quickly go into your settings because GBA for iOS will not install unless you set your date back. So we're going to go into general, date and time, turn off set automatically. Then scroll your date past February 18th, any date before that will work. I went a little overboard and got to January 19th, but it'll still work fine. So once you go home, your GBA for iOS 2.0 will install. Go ahead and click on it to open it. And then once it opens, you can change your date back, but be aware you must do it in this order or else your application will not install. So once that's done, we can go back into GBA for iOS 2.0.2 and look at the new features in this update. So the first feature that we're going to go over is the full screen capabilities of skins. So this is the fill screen feature from GBA for iOS 1.6. So to do this, you're going to go into your settings, click on Game Boy Advance skins, then click on landscape skins, click on the plus sign at the top right and scroll down and look for the skin that says full screen. Now this skin will allow your games to be in full screen. Now this isn't a feature in GBA for iOS 2.0 but it's something that now allows skins to do. So it won't be an actual setting it will have to do with skins and you can find more full screen landscape skins on GBA for iOS skins.com. So first I'm going to show you how a game looks when you have it with the normal default skin which doesn't automatically break the aspect ratio and stretch the skin out so here is actually the first warning that's another feature in this new update that warns you and says safe states are intended to be used as a convenience and not the conventional way to save so it's just warning you that save states can have errors and always save within the game and do not only rely on save states so as you can see there's two black bars on the right and it's keeping the game in its aspect ratio. It's not stretching it or anything. But when you go into your Game Boy Advance skins, click on landscape and now switch to the full screen skin, it will actually stretch your games to fit the whole screen. Now, this is okay if you like it, I guess. What it does is that it stretches the game and some people may be able to notice that it does stretch the game and it doesn't look very nice. So. It's basically just a personal preference. If you prefer using this skin, then go ahead and use it. If you don't, then just don't use it. As simple as that. So anyways, let's return to the menu and click on cheat codes. As you can see, here's the warning. Cheat should only be used if you know exactly what you're doing. 
So basically what this means is that if you input cheats that are incorrect because anybody can make a cheat and post it on the internet, it will have side effects on your game. So be warned, make sure that you're going to reliable websites that do work with GBA for iOS 2.0. There's a lot of cheats that do not work with GBA for iOS 2.0 and you will be getting errors in your game if you use them. If a cheat does not work, all you have to do is delete it and you will be fine. But anyways, let's go into the in-app ROM downloading of GBA for iOS 2.0 and download a game and I'm going to be downloading Super Mario Advance 4. I'm going to go ahead and click on download now. I'm sure all of you guys already know how to download games. And I'm just checking to see if it works. I actually never encountered the bug where you aren't able to download games. But here, as you can see, I went to download this game and it worked perfectly fine. So that's just one of the things that I wanted to show you guys. So if you ever encounter a problem downloading a game, make sure you report it to the developer Riley or let me know and I'll let him know whatever you want to do. But anyways, now I'm going to go over the features of the first update to GBA for iOS 2.0, which is 2.0.1. And now that update fixed Dropbox syncs. When GBA for iOS 2.0 was released, there was an error in the Dropbox feature, but that was fixed with the update to 2.0.1, and I didn't cover that in a video because it was a very minor update. And anyways, the second thing that was in that update was that AirPlay can now be customized to how you like it. So when you AirPlay originally, it was that it would AirPlay your top screen, and then you would have the controls on your bottom screen. So now you can customize that by turning the slider on and off however you prefer, though this only works with AirPlay. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like and let me know that if you did actually enjoy this new style of video. This is the first time I cover a GBA for iOS 2.0 update and I do intend to cover more of them in the future. So let me know if you would like me to do that. Besides that, if you'd like to learn how to get the game that I played at the beginning of this video, then click on the left or follow the link in the description. As well as if you would like to check out some other awesome GBA for iOS skins, then click on the right or follow the link in the description. Besides that, as always, if you enjoyed, then please subscribe and join the operation. I will continue to do awesome videos just like this one, and I'm sure you will enjoy them. Thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.